Did you know you can use three monitors with Final Cut Pro 10? And today, that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do it. So to start with, obviously you need three monitors. The one I'm using is with my MacBook Pro here and also my iMac has a secondary display and a, another Samsung 24 inch with an HDMI um, input. So that's going to be my three screens. To start with, I'm going to turn on my iMac here and I've connected it via a Thunderbolt cable. And what you need to do is just make sure it's connected up and go to your iMac's keyboard and just hit um, Command, focus, Command F2, and that will turn it into target display mode, which means now the MacBook is controlling the iMac just as a secondary screen here. And then afterwards, what you need to do is also connect up your HDMI cable. If you have an HDMI input on your laptop or iMac or Mac Pro or whatever. So go in there, plug it in, and then make sure you also turn on your TV or your secondary screen or whatever screen you're using. So basically we're just gonna have three screens here. Wait for it to turn on. So there we have three screens running now. Yep, check, good. So before we continue, I just want you to quickly go into your system preferences and go into displays right here, and then go to the arrangement tab and make sure that mirror displays has not been checked because obviously we want all three screens to be separate. And also a quick tip is if you drag this little white bar here, you can select which of the three screens that you've got connected up right now to be your main one. For me, I want the laptop screen to be the main one, but sometimes if you have a better screen or bigger screen, you can drag it and make it the main one, if that makes sense. Yeah, but we'll leave it on here for me. Right, you can close this down and go on and fire up your Final Cut Pro 10. So there you have it. We've got Final Cut open here on the laptop just on its own on this screen. First of all, what you need to do is go to Final Cut um, Preferences here, and then go to Playback, and then make sure the AV output is set to your monitor, whichever screen that you want to use as the full screen video display. So I've selected that as an HDMI, and that is the that monitor over there. So select that, exit, quit, come on. And then what you need to do is go to uh, window and then select AV output. And then you should get the video on that screen if it works. Yes, there you go. As you can see, it's right there. It's running on, you've got the screen running on this little small one here, but you also got the full preview window running on that screen over there. That's me. Uh, let me just pause that. So that's two screens running. And then to get the third screen running, all you need to do is go to um, view, no, window, sorry. Show events on second display or show viewers on second display. That depends on you. But I tend to do show viewers on second display. So what that does is it's gonna put the, another window on this side over here. And if I just go into a random clip, I don't know, anything will do right here, there you go. So <clears throat> I don't know if you can see, I've got like literally three screens running here from a single Mac. And previously you might think that's not possible, but using this method you can. And the advantage is obviously you have more screen estate and you can get a bigger preview image video running there. And you can also have additional scope and other blah, 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 stuff like that running. I don't know if you can see properly, it's a bit dark. Um, or alternatively, you can select show viewers on main display, oh sorry, show viewers, show events on second display. So in that case, there's my face. So in that case, you've got this massive screen here showing all the clips in a bigger screen. So you not don't have everything crowded on your little screen here but you can also obviously have your main timeline to edit stuff down at the bottom here. So there you have it. That's how you can use a three screens, including the laptop screen in Final Cut. And hopefully it wasn't too confusing. Uh, it really depends on which uh, laptop you have or if you're doing it with an iMac or Mac Pro, etc. But as you can see, Final Cut does support three screens without any additional hardwares. 
But if you don't have the HDMI output on your system, you can get these like expensive cards from like Blackmagic Design or stuff like that to get the HDMI HDMI out to run 3D screens. So, but if you have a laptop which supports it, that's how you can run three separate screens in Final Cut to make your editing much easier.